Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we're going to be talking about green wound drainage and how we can simply clear this up without antibiotics. So as you can see on the on the page, um, I show vinegar here. So this is something I love to use whenever I see green. I always pull out the vinegar. Um, 5% just normal white vinegar. It's amazing when you have green drainage. Uh, you don't need antibiotics. It, it clears it up if caught early enough. Um, it clears it up within a week normally. Um, I sometimes had it go a little bit longer than a week, but normally within a week it does clear up. So we're not just going to use um, vinegar straight out of the, the, the jug here. We do have to dilute it. Okay, so normally um, we use a dilution of 0.25% to 3%, but we always want to start with the lowest concentration. Okay, so on the next page here, I will actually show you how to um, do the dilutions. So like I said, we're going to start with the lowest concentration. Um, so that's a 0 0.25. Um, so the acetic acid, which is the vinegar, you'd use 12.5 mils in 237.5 mils of sterile water. So you're always just going to mix it with sterile water. Um, if you want a 1% solution, it would be 50 mils of vinegar to 200 mils of water. And the 3% would be 150 mils of vinegar to 100 mils of water. So the reason why we dilute the vinegar and always start with the lowest concentration is because sometimes it does cause pain and discomfort. Um, so we never want to cause anyone any pain. Um, so we do want to start low and go slow, like slowly build up. Normally I use about a 1%. Um, I've found that to be very, very good, but I always do try out um, the lower concentration first to make sure there's no allergic reactions. And you always want to ask if they have any allergic reactions um, to vinegar or if they don't tolerate vinegar. Um, you always want to ask these things first before using any product. So as I said in the um, last slide, um, you want to make sure that they don't have any allergy to acetic acid, which is vinegar. Um, you also don't want to combine um, the vinegar with any other products. Uh, so like if you're going to use the vinegar, use vinegar. You're not going to want to use iodine or mix it with anything else. Um, and you also don't want to use this to irrigate, undermining, or tunnels. So in this slide, we're actually going to demonstrate how to um, apply the vinegar to the wound. Um, so first, you're going to wash your hands, have nice clean hands, or use hand sanitizer. Uh, next, you're going to put on a pair of gloves. Okay. You start with your bottle of sterile saline. Okay. Have my arm here and you're going to clean the wound. Clean it of any debris, clean it really good. Use the whole bottle on there um, to make sure that this wound is very clean, free from any debris, okay? Then you are going to grab your sterile gauze. And I already have my pre-made vinegar here. Okay, you are gonna saturate your sterile gauze Okay, so I actually have two here. I'll put one back in the sterile packaging that I have here. So I'm just going to place it on the wound and just let it do its job for about 30 seconds here. Okay, just let it sit and wait. <clears throat> let it sit and wait. Okay. So after 30 seconds, you take that one off, dispose of it, and you have your second handy duty one here. And put that on. This one you're gonna leave um, on for about five to 10 minutes. Okay. Once that's all done, you've waited the five to 10 minutes, uh, you are going to remove it, and you're going to wash with the sterile saline once again. Okay. 
You can then dry off any of the peri wound, um, stay, stay away from the actual wound itself, or use sterile gauze if you're going to touch the wound base to dry it off. Um, and then you can complete your normal uh, dressing as per plan. So the frequency of this dressing change um, completely depends on the amount of drainage and um, what other products you're actually using uh, to cover the wound. So some dressings you have to change daily if you're just using gauze or if uh, say you're using Acticoat, it's good for three to seven days. Um, Inadine, it's good for about two days depending on how much it's absorbing that iodine. So it just depends on what you're actually using um, to cover the wound. Um, so on average, it is about daily to every third day. So the outcome and your goal of using the vinegar is to see no signs of infection, localized infection, uh, within two weeks. Uh, so if there's something going on past that two week mark, or it is getting worse, um, rather than better, you do want to uh, definitely make sure that your patient goes to see the doctor. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked that video. Um, if you did, please subscribe. You can uh, comment any questions below and I will surely answer them. And I hope to see you all in the next video.